and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and world people of the tube. Hope all day, hope you're feeling grand, and all is well in your world. Hello there, everybody. Uh, today's vid, everybody, is all about this glorious gold, and well, it's not kind of gold, it's more kind of like orange, but uh, this glorious pedal right here, people of the tube. This is the Golden Plexi Mark II by Tone City. I had no idea they were doing a second version of the Golden Plexi. Uh, again, I, I don't really have my ear to the ground when it comes down to kind of like new gear coming out. I just, I just kind of stumble across things. But I, I didn't stumble across this one at all until loads of you people out there, loads of you awesome humans, you told me that, Dave, did you know they're doing a Tone City Golden Plexi Mark II? And I was like, no! And had to find out if it's any good. So that's what today's video is all about, people tube. The Golden Plexi Mark II by Tone City. So as if you've been around the channel enough, you'll know the Mark I has been a mainstay of my paddleboard for years now. Um, I first heard it being demoed uh, on the Anderton's channel years ago. Um, it was when Rob demoed it with Lee. And literally, the day I heard that is the day I bought one. And I still have it. I still use it. And it's literally one of my main pedals. It's my always-on pedal. I don't... I just love it. The only thing that comes close to the Golden Plexi is my Marshall Jackhammer pedal. Other than that, nothing has ever taken that spot of always on. It gives me that John Fashanti Dirty Clean Tone that I want. And it loves all my other pedals. It loves the Governor, it loves the DS2, it loves Fuzz pedals, it loves Wah, it loves Delays. You name it, it loves it, it works, it's amazing. Uh, up until me getting the Golden Plexi, I was using a Ibanez Tube Screw, a TS-808. And as soon as I got the Golden Plexi Mark I, the TS-08 came off the pedal board, never went back on again, and was eventually sold because I discovered I'm not really a Tube Screamer fan. So, I'm curious whether Mark II here, uh, who's Mark II, never heard of him, is as good or better than Mark I. Surely it can't be worse. Well, hopefully it's not worse. Um, it sounded great in the intro jam. Again, all you heard in the intro jam solo-wise was the Golden Plexi. No, I had nothing else on. Uh, it was just literally this. I had it set with the gain all the way up, tone all the way off, and I had the volume at 1 o'clock. I don't know if you'll be able to see the small dial speed with you because it's, um, it's extraordinarily small. Look, I can block it out with my hand. What pedal? There is no pedal here. Oh, I think you'll find there is. Anyway, um... Yeah, it is what it is. It's a it's a distortion channel. It kind of supposed to give you that kind of hot rodded Marshall Plexi cranked to the teeth kind of sound. It's but it does give you those great Plexi tones as well, kind of a bit more low gain kind of thing. But it's I don't know. I I don't really. It's it's a little bit different. We will be doing another video as well, people with you, where we do a shootout between this one and the Mark One. But today we're going to focus on this one and the sounds this thing has to offer. It is slightly different already, I can tell, to the original. So um, we'll get into that when we do the shootout. And I'll, that'll be coming. That'll be the next video along from this one. So uh, I won't leave you waiting on that one, Pure Tube, because I want to know as well. So anyway, but that aside, let's focus on the Golden Plexi Mark II. So uh, you heard it in the intro jam. What I'll do now, basically, is I'll just go through uh, the dials... Uh, with my Mr. White here and uh, a Les Paul that you hear at Humbuckers, uh, straight into the uh, Super Crush, and um, yeah, and we'll just mess around. I'll, I'll I'll change the gain dial. Apparently, what they have done it, it, it's it's apparently smoother on the gain dial. Like uh, on the original Golden Plexi, it's kind of like nothing, 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 and then kind of quite a bit, not a lot of gain, but that's. Where it just kicks in is where I run mine, whereas this one is supposed to have a bit of a smoother kind of in, uh, kind of like gain in, so to say. It rolls in smoother. Uh, we will find that out in a minute. Um, but yeah, because it was kind of like nothing, nothing, and then you get the gain. Whereas this one, like I said, I think it's supposed to have a smooth thing. I don't know what else they've done to it, to be honest with you. I don't really care. I want to know if it sounds and feels any good. I don't really care what they've done to it. If it doesn't feel good, then... I don't like it, you know, but already I, I, I like the way it feels. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, I'm going to start with the tone I had in the intro jam. So, gain all the way up, tone all the way down, volume it again at one o'clock, and we'll go from there to a tube. But like I say, um, just going to the Super Crush, no other pedals, I'm not going to use any other pedals today. Uh, well, actually, I might stick the DS2 on, 
when we get into John Vashanti territory, the territory, just to see if it responds. Because the DS2 is extraordinarily picky about what pedal it's running into. Uh, for instance, like you know, when, I, when I use a tube screamer, it hated the tube screamer. It just kind of rebelled. So uh, we'll, I will try the DS2 when we get to more kind of like the low gain John Vashanti kind of territory. But from the get-go, mainly what I'm going to do is start with gain all the way up, tone all the way off, volume at 1 o'clock. The volume pro won't change because there's no need to. It's kind of unity at this point in time to clean. Uh, I will change the tone. We'll change the gain. And we'll just mess around with a couple of different sounds with the Strat. And then we'll plug in a Les Paul and let you hear it with, uh, with uh, humbuckers as well. And uh, yes. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's get playing. I am going to move that back as well, people tube. So... I'll be messing with the gain first, and then I'll mess with the tone, just so you know, because you won't be able to see where it is. And basically, gain is going to be from all the way up to all the way down, and tone is going to be from all the way down to all the way up. So, hopefully I explained any everything. I don't know. I'm terrified, as usual. Anyway, um, let's make some noise. Golden Plexi Mark 2. Yeah. 
Okie dokie. So, um, yes, it's awesome, but it tends to make the DS2 quite bright. I'm going to have to listen back to that when I, when I get to editing. I'm going to have to listen back to that. But it's not as warm uh, with the DS2 as the original. Uh, there is a bit more of a, a brightness. And I would say in, in general, to be honest with you, I find the Mark II, it's got a little bit more presence to it. I wouldn't necessarily say treble. But it's got a little bit more presence to it than the original. It's, the, the, the shootout's going to be interesting. I've got to say, I'm going to. I am very curious. I am very, very curious. Um, but does it sound good? Oh my god, does it sound good? I almost prefer this though. as kind of like a more of a a, a distortion. Uh, it, it sounds really nice on the on the on the dirty cleans. I've got to say, it really does. It sounds great. But uh, I do prefer the Mark II with it wound all the way up. I'm just being gravitated more towards that game being on full whack. Uh, you've got enough brightness in the tone to level a small playing field full of donkeys. You know, it'll just literally chop them off at the legs. It's like a cheese cut once you get it all the way up. It's almost Rory Gallagher Irish Tour kind of tone. Kind of, you know, it's really bright and trebly. But with it all the way down, it's really nice, warm and full. Um... I don't think I, you know, it's like the original. I don't think I'd ever really turn the tone up too far. I, just, I, I kind of, I, I don't do that anyway. I prefer the darker tones. Anyway, people what I'm going to do now, the exact same thing as I've just done, but I'm going to change to Les Paul, let you hear it with humbuckers, and, uh, yeah, see if there's, um, you know, see how it sounds with them, basically. So let's do that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, over with YouTube. Uh, there you go. That's sound examples of the Golden Plexi Mark II with uh, strap and Les Paul, so humbuckers and single coils. So with the humbuckers, it definitely benefited from having the tone up. I think it just kind of was a bit dull with the tone down, but that's to be expected. Uh, but I don't have that problem with the Mark I. Um, Between you and me, I think I still think the Mark I. I think the Mark One's superior. Uh, but this is an awesome pedal. It, it is. It sounds great. Yeah. How could it not? You know. Uh, but I'm really interested about the shootout, people of YouTube. I'm really intrigued now because my Mark One's looking at me down there, going, and I don't know if I'm sold. Uh, and I do apologize about my playing today, people of YouTube. My playing is atrocious today. I'm just not. Yep. I'm frustrated, let's put it that way, because earlier on I did an entire video only for the audio not to work, and it's frustrating because uh, that's a video that now will never be, because it didn't happen, technically. Um, very frustrating. Anyway, so that's frustrating me, but I can't play properly today, I've got no ability to play. Anyway, what do you think, people of the tube? I reckon it sounds great. Do I love it? Oh yes. Do I absolutely love it? We'll find out in the next video. Um, like I say, at this point in time, do I think it's superior to the Mark One? No, I don't. Um, it's a little bit brighter, it's a little bit brasher, I think, than the original. I reckon the original was a lot warmer and rounder, but again, I don't know. I mean, I've been, I've been using the original Golden Plexi forever. You know, like I say, it's my always on pedal. So, I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, we'll find out in the next uh, video, Pudgy. But what do you think to the Golden Met Plexi Mark II? Definitely worth trying. Um, I will give you my full verdict in the next video when we do a shootout. But this thing's wicked. It really is great. It's, um, Queenie uses this as her always-on pedal, actually, weirdly enough. And she uses it uh, always-on, basically, for a bass to kind of, like, slightly distorted and runs the gain low, and it just sounds immense. And uh, it does sound great. It really does sound great. But is it... As good as the Mark One. We'll find out in the next video, people tube, without fail. So, anyway, uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, people tube, on the Golden Plexi Mark II by Tone City. I don't really know why they've updated it. It's trying to improve on perfection, and that normally means it's never going to be as good. It is good, though. But is it as good? I don't know. I'm so itching to try both these together now. Anyway, until the next video, people tube, I will see you again. Uh, if you like the videos, videos I do here, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. It's what keeps this channel going. Uh, if you are a patron on there, thank you so much indeed. Your support is everything to me. It really is. Thank you so much. Uh, link to that is description box below, as well as links to my band camp, where you can listen to me music. Uh, other than that, people tube, I will see you again on Friday for a shoot. Is it Friday or is it Wednesday? I forget now. Either way, the next video along, we're going to shoot, shoot, do a shootout between Mark II and Mark I, the Golden Plexi, and, just, and I'll give you my opinions, and as usual, people tube in the next video, give me your opinions. And also, give me your opinions on this one. What do you reckon? Um, and also, if you have one, what do you think to it? You know, what do you use it for? Let us know. Comment section below. Anyway, uh, other than that, I'll see you again. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and goodbye now. Thank you for watching.